Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Nikki Gent and I want to acknowledge the traditional owners in the lands in which we meet and pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. In today's lecture we're going to explore the inspiring stories of three real individuals from Australia who have overcome significant challenges in their lives and have gone on to work within the community sector making a positive impact on their communities. These individuals have demonstrated resilience, determination and a strong commitment to serving others. Their stories serve as examples of how personal adversity can be transformed into a driving force for creating change and helping others. The first person I want to speak about is Rosie Chen. Rosie Chen the journey began when her and her family fled their country, their home country due to political unrest. As a refugee in Australia, Rosie faced numerous challenges, including language barriers, cultural adjustment and limited access to resources. However, she was determined to make a difference and support other refugee women who were facing similar struggles. Rosie embarked on a journey of education and she obtained a degree in social work and a community development. She recognised the need for specialised support for a refugee women and founded an organisation called Empower Women Refugees. This organisation and the work that the team does provides language classes, job training and social support networks to empower refugee women in their integration process. Rosie's work has positively impacted the lives of countless refugee women, helping them rebuild their lives and become active members of society. Jack Thompson is another person I want to speak about. He's a mental health advocate. Jack Thompson's life took an unexpected turn when he experienced a severe mental health crisis in his early 20s. Overwhelmed by depression and anxiety, Jack found himself in a desperate situation. However, with the support of his family and mental health professionals, he managed to overcome his challenges and regain control of his life. Motivated by his experience, Jack decided to dedicate his life to raising awareness about mental health and providing support for those who were struggling with similar issues. He became a certified mental health counsellor and established the organisation called Mind Matters Australia. It's through this organisation that Jack conducts workshops, provides counselling services and advocates for mental health awareness in schools, workplaces and communities. Jack's efforts have made a significant impact in breaking down stigmas surrounding mental health and providing vital supports for those in need. Olivia Scott is another exciting young person. She's a youth mentor and Indigenous advocate. Olivia Scott's an Indigenous Australian who faced numerous challenges growing up, including systematic race discrimination and limited access to educational opportunities. Despite these obstacles, Olivia was determined to create change and empower Indigenous youth to overcome adversity and achieve their goals. Olivia pursued a degree in education and became a youth mentor in her community. She recognised the importance of providing Indigenous youth with positive role models and culturally appropriate support. Olivia founded the organisation Indigenous Youth Empowerment to provide mentoring programs, cultural activities and educational support to Indigenous youth in remote communities. Olivia's work has a, had a profound impact on the lives of Indigenous youth. It's empowered many to embrace their cultural identity, to pursue education and to break the cycle of disadvantage. She has become a strong advocate for Indigenous rights and wor is working towards improving access to quality education and creating equal opportunities for all. Rosie Batty is an inspiring example of a person in Australia who became well known for her ability to overcome challenges. She went on to work in the community sector and give back after devastating trauma. Rosie Batty's son and her story is one of resilience, of advocacy and commitment to creating positive change. 
Bruzy Banny's life took a tragic turn in 2014 when her 11-year-old son Luke was brutally killed by his father during a pr- cricket practice session. This devastating event sparked national attention and brought the issue of family violence to the forefront of the public consciousness in Australia. Despite the immense grief and pain she experienced, Rosie Batty found the strength to speak out about her son's death and became a tireless advocate for victims of domestic violence. She used her platform to raise awareness, to challenge social attitudes and to push for systematic changes to better support victims and prevent such tragedies from happening again. Rosie Batty's courageous advocacy and determination led to her appointment as the 2015 Australian of the Year. It's through her position she amplified her message and became a prominent voice in the fight against family violence. She worked closely with various organisations and government bodies to drive change and improve support systems for victims. Following her tenure as Australian of the Year, Rosie Batty continued her advocacy work, focusing on the education and prevention programs. She established the Luke Batty Foundation, which was named after her son, and whose aim is to raise awareness about family violence and provide support to those affected. The foundation delivers training programs, workshops, and provides resources for schools, workplaces, and communities to provide understanding and promote prevention of domestic violence. Rosie Batty's efforts have had a profound impact on the community sector in Australia. She's helped shatter the silence of surrounding family violence and has brought the issue to the forefront of the national conversation. It's through her advocacy and relentless dedication she's influenced policy change, increased funding for support services and created a lasting legacy that continues to make a difference in the lives of those affected by family violence. Rosie Batty's story is testament to the power of resilience, determination and the ability to turn personal tragedy into a catalyst for positive change. Her work within the community sector not only provided support and hope to countless individuals, but has also inspired a national movement towards addressing the issue of family violence. Rosie Batty's journey from personal tragedy to becoming a beacon of hope and catalyst for change is undeniably inspirational to others who've experienced trauma. Her resilience and strength Her unwavering commitment to making difference in the lives of others and in her community serves as a powerful example for transformational change of resilience.